Welcome back to Free Delirium. My name is AJ, and this week is St. Patrick's Day. So I figured we would celebrate with a bit of a green project going on this week. So over the past six months, I have developed this tub full of scraps. It's uh, the leftovers, failed prints, support material. Uh, there's a lot of these straight little purge lines. The very first thing the printer always does is extrude about this much uh, filament real flat on the very front edge so you just kind of make sure that the filament is ready to flow when the project will need it to flow and it's a lot of them have built up over the past six months this is actually I would say half of what I've made because in the uh, when I first got my my printer I uh, ended up just throwing all the rest of those in the recycling bin but today we're going to try to recycle these ourselves so how are we going to do that just uh, tune on in and I'll we'll show you how we do it. Well, I don't know if this is luck or uh, some sort of subconscious uh, choice, but I seem to have recently ruined this cookie sheet. And my wife so graciously allowed me to use it for 3D printing projects. So. My plan is I want to take all of these, or a bunch of these scrap pieces of plastic, PLA in particular, so it should melt pretty uh, low. So it has a low melting temperature. Luckily, my oven can very easily heat that hot. So my plan is to fill the inside of this tray with the scrap plastic, just set it in the oven, and allow it to melt as flat as possible, and then hopefully when I uh, drop this out from underneath, it will leave me with a big cutting board. Now, I wouldn't use it for food, it wouldn't necessarily be food grade, but I definitely could use a cutting board like this for my hobby projects, like for Warhammer and for uh, other things where I would need like a, like a hobby knife or any kind of cutting implement, I could set that project on top of my new, hopefully, recycled PLA cookie sheet and it would keep my desktop safe from the blade for a little bit. And then if I ever need a new cutting board for these projects, I could easily just do the same thing again, melt a bunch of the scraps in the cookie sheet, and then off to the races we are. Now, I do have one worry, is that even though originally this cookie sheet had a bit of a nonstick coating, I think we've used it enough that it has used up the nonstick coating. Now, we have baking paper, but likewise, I don't know if the plastic would ever get heavy enough to push the baking paper down into the recesses of the cookie sheet here. So we're gonna have to do a bit of experimenting. I don't know if you can hear the fan, but my oven is currently uh, up to heat. So I might just take a few pieces of the PLA that are sitting on top and just melt it down to see what, ha what happens, what it does, how it reacts. I'll try some right here in the center. I'll do some over in the corner, and hopefully it won't permanently be stuck that way. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So the cookie sheet has a bit. Cookie sheet has a bit of a like a. You can kind of see a recessed edge around the whole uh, side of it, and that's where a lot of the uncleanable bits have ended up. So I want to make sure I definitely test those sections with a bit of extra PLA plastic. All right, so. With just this, I guess that's kind of all we need. Let's see if it works. All right, well, it's cooled off, and I have my trusty scraper. Well, it came off with a bit of effort, but it did take some effort. So my, my theory is that if it came, comes off easily, I could just fill the whole thing and ignore it. But it didn't. Okay, so I have this piece of baking paper cut specifically to the shape of the bottom of the tray. I've got bits on the sides that can easily pull up to pull the whole thing out the end, hopefully, and 
Well, here we go. I might have to take what I can, pile on here, let it melt down, and then pull the tray out, add another layer, let it melt down, another layer, let it melt down. Uh, some of this is quite uh, messy. All right. That is starting to work. It's not quite getting as flat as I hoped it would. Other places online that I've seen trying to do this kind of thing would use like a food processor or some blender, some, some device to chop up all of these extra bits into as fine of uh, chips as possible. I don't have an implement like that. So I was hoping to do it with that. It's pretty flat. Maybe I'll just keep adding pieces and uh, we'll see where that gets us. Once all this melts down, as much it is, as it is, the scraps I have in this container are not going near as far as I expected them to. With the oven on this hot, I'm not exactly sure what kind of fumes will be coming up off of PLA like this, so I definitely want to make sure I have a window open and a fan on. I'm starting to run, run out of the scrap pieces that are left over, and this tray is nowhere near filled with melted plastic. So this might have to be part one of this project until I build up more scrap to fill this container again. Which I'm okay with. Okay, so I left it in for a full 10 minutes this time, just to try to get the heat as dispersed as possible, let it flow into all the cracks and crannies and crevices. Definitely did more of a complete task of liquefying in its entirety, but there are some spaces where I could run, I suppose, into the corners a little bit more. It seems to be a lot focused in the middle, just like making a pizza back when I worked at a pizza shop. You don't want all your toppings in the middle because then a pizza won't cook. So my PLA cutting board doesn't seem to be want to cook in the middle because I put too many toppings in there. So, I have one more thing I want to try before we just wait until I have uh, more scraps to add to it. I have my heat gun here and I'm going to try doing some spot melting, trying to get the thicker parts to kind of run over to where there's spaces and gaps and uh, holes like that. So. One last try before we give it to be continued on this project. Okay, so the heat gun did not work. I actually set off my fire alarm even though nothing was burning. It did make some air bubbles form like I was scorching the plastic. So it might not be an option for the future. I might just have to wait until there's more uh, scraps to try this again. But now that it's cooled off, I'm just curious how it will be to remove. Hmm. Ah. The paper does not seem to want to come off the bottom. That is a-okay. It actually looks really cool from this side. I'll try to get a better picture, but it doesn't look too bad. There are some places where it certainly seems like it didn't like. There's some, some kind of like browning, glittery, maybe some of these scraps from my demo samples of filament that came with the printer. They had like a, a glittery metallic in them, I think. 
maybe they didn't really appreciate being heated up so hot. Uh, the rest of the colors kind of blended and mixed well, it seems. That one turned into kind of a brownish burn color. But it does indeed look like I will have to wait until I have more scraps of film like to kind of continue and finish this project. So until then, happy St. Patrick's Day. And from all of us here at 3 Delirium, we uh, will all try to hallucinate about the possibilities of 3D printing. Now, and in the future. I'll see you next time.